Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Local theater company Sarasvati Productions brings you their 10th cabaret of monologues in celebration of International Women's Week. This year's theme is Rise Up and will feature a powerful lineup of performers. Artistic director Hope McIntyre joins us this morning with one of the performers, Andrea Hoosen. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here with Thank us. Thanks for having Our us. pleasure. Hope, let's start with you. Let's sure. talk a little bit about the theme Rise Up and how it's incorporated into the performances that we're going to be seeing at this year's cabaret of monologues. Absolutely. Well, we're super excited because this year we decided to focus on young women voices so we did a call for monologues that explored different perspectives different experiences of young women so rise up is really about how women today are dealing with whatever adversity challenges how they you know act Activate their lives, how they, whatever they do. So we've got this great range of pieces as a result. And Andrea is going to be performing one of those pieces. Yes. Let's talk a little yes. bit about about yeah. your performance and what we'll be seeing from you. Uh, yes, it's um, a monologue by Karen Moore. She's a local playwright and director. Uh, and uh, this this young girl is uh, has been brought to the self help group to deal with her recent obsession with the book Fifty Shades of Grey. So <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so this this is her challenge that that she is uh, working through. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so is there a little bit of humor in there? Sorry, oh, yeah. I just oh, yeah. laughed out loud. Maybe no, it's very serious. <laughs> no, no, oh, no, 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 no. It is, it is quite funny. It's quite funny. It makes, makes a good commentary, I think, um, on top of that, but it is, it is a uh, very comedic piece. And that's kind of what, you're, what you do through the performances, is there are parts that are funny, performances that are going to make you laugh, but also yeah. ones that are going to make you think as well. So that, quite a range, right? Absolutely, yeah. and that's our goal. It's like we want to entertain people because it's great fun, but at the same time, we want people to start thinking or to be aware of something that they might might not have thought about before. So some of the women's struggles are really interesting. We've got a teen trucker. We've got you know women who are in therapy because they're trying to do everything at once. So things we can all relate to as well. I always feel like a monologue is a very challenging thing to do because it's just you on stage. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that and how you manage to own the stage and, and not feel terrified. <laughs> it is. I, I guess it is a little terrifying, but you know, as actors, we're actually quite familiar with that format. It's how we audition for jobs. Right. Um, but what's really nice about a monologue is you just you start in one place and you end in another. So there's there's a really a really nice journey. So for for the actor, you know, you just you follow it, and it's also uh, you know a, a really good format for the, the audience to watch. It's exciting. Definitely, yeah. to be able to see someone really so involved in, in what they're doing and what they're pr projecting. Yes, exactly. Um, Hope, so this is happening the 7th and 8th, so Friday and Saturday at the Colin Jackson Studio, which is Prairie Theatre Exchange there. Um, so people have those opportunities to check. It sold out last year, right? It did, it did. So get your tickets. So they can go on our website. They can call the office to reserve. It starts at 8 both nights. So yeah, definitely. Check it out. Check it out. It's a great way to celebrate International Women's Week and uh, take in some great local theatre at the same time. Breakfasttelevision.ca for all the links to the websites that Hope was talking about taking a break on BT. Stay with us for your last weather and traffic.